gems how you doing this is the diamond in the rough and i have completed where stars come from which is from diamond shop with their new artist release jeremiah morelli um, i will say links down below to or diamond shop because you really if you haven't checked them out by now which i'd be surprised if you haven't um, if, but if you haven't checked them out by now check down all the details below for them their Facebook group which is actually a new Facebook group which looks really fantastic YouTube channels there is two YouTube channels one is Ro Rowena and the other one is Dine Moon Shop and of course the uh, actual website to Dine Moon Shop so I will put them down there and I will say I'm fortunate enough that this is the second time I've been an ambassador for a release of a new artist so um, hopefully <laughs> Hopefully I get the opportunity again because um, what Reggie and Rowana do is just phenomenal and they are a small family business so you will even get to see Rocket and Zuli um, when they do their reverse unboxings which is basically when they pack their packages for you guys you actually get to see them being packaged it, it's what they do is absolutely brilliant and brings a very 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 personal family touch so these guys I love them I love them because their before sales service and after sales service is absolutely brilliant anyway on to the review for this so where stars come from Jeremiah is a new artist for them he does digital art um, this came with as an ambassador I got all the gifts but this also came with a special treatment with the electric diamonds the stars the sapphires and the mahogany so in this booklet they actually give you instructions on where they go so the sapphire up in the trees the star gems are actually obviously where all the stars are the electric diamonds are through the sky and the moon and the eyes for the owl and then the mahogany is down here in with the basically the roots of the tree because I have um, purchased numerous Diamond Moon Shop paintings I will say I had extra electric diamonds and I had extra sapphire so if uh, you are one person that some that struggles with where do I put things um, you kind of like me <laughs> lacking on a little bit of the creative side that you need the instructions um, the instructions are really good but I will say the sapphires I did put some up the top which were in the fours but most of the sapphires that I put in the diamond painting were actually where the R's are so I replaced the symbol R right throughout the diamond painting with the sapphires which is how there is you can see the sapphires yes, through and down the tree and then I have brought it down you can see the mahogany there but then I have brought the sapphires down the bottom as well put some of the sapphires up at the top of the tree because top of that bush hang on because they were ours but then i put the mahogany here because that was the 915 which was the slash so the mahogany i used every every single 915 i replaced with the mahogany and i scattered down here the mahogany in where there was the Bees or D's? Hang on. They were the B's. So the B's were 154. I didn't replace all because there's a lot of 154 in here. Um, but I did scatter them through in the B's, and in, which is the 154, and in with the 915s, which was the slash. So there's the, so the B, the 154, the 796 was also the sapphires where i put the sapphires and the 915 was the mahogany and then the electrics were just scattered throughout i was so tempted to actually put electrics all the way around the tree um, because i have excess electric drills you never know when you need them um, so yeah guys there we go so that was the special treatment so diamond shop yeah they've done a beautiful special treatment manual 
Um, love it. Love what they've done. Love what they've done. Uh, what else can I say? Drill quality. Might have had a couple of interesting drills. Did I run out? I ran out of the uh, specials. <laughs> um, but drills, there was no worry about running out at all. Especially when you start replacing some. Because um, I didn't use any. I didn't use any of the 915s. <laughs> so yeah. Um, what else? What else? What else can I say? I don't know. There's not much more I can actually say. Except, um, yeah, these guys are absolutely brilliant. So not only do they have Jeremiah, but they have... All their artwork is licensed to their artists. So you will find that there is so many... They've got a lot of different artists there. Between digital and normal, I do believe. Um, they do customs. They do rounds. They do squares. They will say that squares take a little bit longer to... I think the squares take a little bit longer for ordering. Uh, at the moment, they are under the pump, so they're saying the ordering is about eight, six to eight weeks for you to get something, uh, which is actually, when you look at it, is a long time, but it's not a long time because what they do with their diamond, with their product is all of their paintings are available in different sizes and all are available with rounds and squares. So with that, they are, you place an order and you will get what you want in the size you want. They uh, never sell out. So even, even in the climate where there is shortage of stuff because people because stores sell out of stuff, these guys don't sell out. They have them made specifically for you. So waiting for these is brilliant because one, they're making it specifically for you. Two, you know that this is not a diamond painting that's been sitting on the shelf for four or five months. You know that this is these are, are fresh diamond paintings. Um, so which is where the quality is kept up to date. With that in mind, if there's an issue with drills and you get back to them, it then for anybody else, they'll have that rectified really quickly instead of having to worry about, well, we've got to wait till this stock is at, at all used up. They don't do that. So everything is fresh. You can get customs from them, but at the moment, because things are they are so busy, they put a hold on getting customs made because they take time. So Reggie um, with customs, he actually does all the rendering himself to get the image the way you want it. I do have customs. I am waiting for one custom, but I have three other customs with them. And I will say this, the customs that I have with them are my three cats. Uh, we'll pop links here somewhere for, for my three cats. Um, those as a those three customs are available for anyone to purchase, and I will say I get the artist commission on it. So that's the fantastic thing that even not a, well, I'm not really an artist. I just love taking photos of my travels and turning them into customs. So I have the ability to actually have them do my customs and then keep the blueprint for them in their store to on sell and uh, I get commission from. So Diamond Shop in that way are absolutely brilliant. Um, now with this one you will see that there is no, there is just a faint grey border. These, all you need to do with these is just, if you're going to wrap them, wrap them around a board like that, but you don't need to do anything with cutting the edges off, which is really fantastic. You can if you want. Um, the legend comes loose, which I feel and find really handy because I actually do put them in my storage container so I know where they, which ones they belong to. But once I frame this, this will actually go to the back of the picture. If I give it away and they happen to lose drills, I, the, the details for what needs to go back in there is there. So just as a little thing that I find brilliant is not having to cut my canvas at all to be able to work to for, for the finishing product. Um, what else? 
I don't think that's about it. I think that's about it. I will say, guys, um, thank you for, for joining me. If you're not one of my gems already, hit the subscribe button down below and hit the bell to be notified when I do uploads. I do a range of stuff. I do, <laughs> I do diamond painting, of course. I do have a big blank custom that I'm doing built all by myself. Um, I work with resin, two-part epoxy and UV resin. And I am attempting to play with uh, polymer clay. Um, I might share one of those on my channel where I, in a short whip and chat, I think, so you can see me messing up big time on my first attempt. But that being said, guys, leave me a comment. Have you checked out, Je checked out Jeremiah Morelli? If you are seeing this before the 30th of June 2020, make sure you have gone into the kitting up video for this to go in the drawer so that you have the choice of winning one of Jeremiah Morelli's diamond paintings with the special drills um, for yourself. So guys, I will say I'll leave it there. Um, gems, you know I waffle on and waffle on towards the end of my videos because I want to keep talking but I just shouldn't. And uh, guys, thumbs up, thumbs down, hit the bell, not get subscribe, hit the bell and um, leave me a comment. What do you think? Could, it do, could this have done with more sparkle? Mm, not so sure. I will say guys, bye for now.